Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Friday the 13th. It's our last day for our seniors, last real day anyway. It's also my anniversary, so happy anniversary to my wife. And we share the same anniversary on the same year as the Russos. So Mr. and Mrs. Russo, happy anniversary to you. Also, it's happy National Apple Pie Day. Now let's finally rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. First, a moment of silence. And if you're still standing, now you can sit. Okay, attention high school students and staff. Today is the last day to sign up and pay for the class of 2024's Cornhole Fundraiser. For only $10, you and a partner can sign up to play in the tournament. Starting on Monday in the courtyard, the tournament will run throughout the week during Power Block. If you have signed up already, be on the lookout for an email to tell you when you are playing. There are only a few spots left, so make sure to sign up and pay as soon as possible, as in today. Uh, attention sophomores, the elections for next year's class officers are coming up this month. Sign up forms have been emailed to you, and anyone interested in running must submit the form and their speech by May 16th. That is Monday. For those that have been hiding under a rock, today is the last day for the senior class. Wildcat News reporter Sarah Kirton interviewed some students from the class of 22 to see how they felt about their en the end of their time here in public education. Thanks, Mila. I really appreciate the teachers here, and so do the seniors. Graduation's right around the corner, so let's recap on some of the seniors' highlights of high school and get to know what they're feeling towards next year. Ryan Estrella is very important to Chase, so next year will be interesting without him. I'd say I'm most nervous about uh, you know just being really far away from Ryan Estrella, just because he's like a super important part of my life. And uh, I'd say I'm most excited about you know meeting more people like Ryan Estrella. All of his great memories started. I'd say you know back in sophomore year when I first met Ryan Estrella. Ryan has formed great relationships. Along with memories. and accomplishments that he'll remember forever. Ben will look back on his high school experience and think of who and what made it memorable. Um, probably either playing on the golf team or just like being with my friends every day. Joey has lots of things that are memorable, but his favorites are probably... If you ever want to listen to a good song, you can always count on him. Moving from West Bridgewater to Boston is definitely going to be different and exciting for Tommy. Being in a city, because I've been in like a pretty suburban environment my whole life, but I'm definitely excited about like seeing new people, meeting new people, especially from like different cities. Something he will never forget is definitely... But probably the mariachi band at high school, that was awesome. And he'll always be proud of... Qualifying for finals, like a state finals in golf. Zach is going to college pretty far away next year. I'm probably most nervous and excited about going to Georgia because totally new location, but then, you know, maybe I'll get homesick. Something he'll always look back and smile about is... Definitely me and Joey killing Leave the Door Open at Mr. WB. He's very smart, so he accomplished big things like... Getting into Georgia Tech or being a valedictorian. Even though everyone knows Natalie will do great things, she is still... Um, I'm most nervous about making friends in college, and I'm most excited about going to college. She'll always remember. Prom was really fun, so I think prom. And um, escorting Mr. WB last week. All of these seniors have left a lasting impact on not only each other, but the teachers as well. I'm so excited to see all the great things these seniors are going to do with their lives, and I can't wait to watch them graduate on May 27th. Now let's go to Casey to talk about if students should be required to take classes they aren't interested in. Thanks, Sarah. Hey, juniors, if you're interested in going on the Newport field trip, permission slips and $20 are due to Mrs. Simone by today at the latest. Basically, if you have anything due today at all, bring it to Mrs. Simone. She will take it all. And what do Michael Jackson, Madonna, and this weekend's weather have in common. Let's go to my man Anthony to find out. Anthony, take it away. Hello and welcome to this weekend's version of the weekend weather. Um, this weekend, we're looking at 
a lot of 80s. And we're even looking at one on Monday. But um, this weekend, today we have highly sunny weather. There's fog, areas of patchy fog this morning. Um, we're actually under dense fog advisory for another half an hour. Um, but that should all move out, and the sun should peak out by the end of the day, and a high of 80 degrees today. So you thought yesterday couldn't get any better. Well, it got better today. Tomorrow, um, more fog in the morning, but this time the sun doesn't come out, and it's 84, cloudy, low of 61. And Sunday, we're back down to 80. I don't believe we're looking at any fog, but partly sunny, back to 80, low of 59. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you guys on Monday for next week version of the weather. Anthony, I like those lows. Some good fire pit weather out there. Yeah, the boys tennis team picked up an awesome five zip win over Bishop Conley. Graham Russo kicked things off at first singles playing an undefeated opponent. I saw it with my own eyes. That kid was undefeated until facing Graham Russo. He didn't give up a single game beating him 6-0-6-0. Chase Ryan also bageled his opponent. Tommy Sheedy won in straight sets. The doubles team of Noah Schneemweiss and Nolan Rett made quick work of the Conley team while Ryan Estrella and Noah Holland wrapped things up for WB as they easily won their doubles match. The boys will play today at Mansfield. Good luck, Wildcat Tennis. The Wildcat Cafe is serving a variety of original pizza, chicken patties, and beef and cheese nachos for lunch. Freshly made grab-and-go salads and power packs include this week's special of buffalo chicken wraps and salads and a charcuterie box with meats, cheese, fresh fruit, and crackers. Donut holes, pretzels, egg sandwiches, uncrustables, yogurt parfaits, cereal smoothies, assorted pastries are all available at break. Don't forget to take at least one serving of veggies or fruit at each meal. And almost finally, a happy birthday to Nora Brodel and a happy birthday this weekend to Brittany Mahoney and Lily, I always say Mata, but it's not, Matta. Sorry, Lily. Lily Matta. And now, a special goodbye video to two of our morning crew seniors. All right, so first up, Graham, class of 22. You've been doing this since eighth grade, working behind the teleprompter and making sure that everyone sitting at our anchor desk has been able to read all of the information in that tiny little box that you provided. You've done a great job. You've been rock solid up until you got senioritis about two weeks ago, but you're always here on time, and I appreciate that. Uh, dependability is a, a big thing we need from students these days, and you've been a great representation of that. So, Graham, thank you for everything that you've done over the last five years. We all appreciate it, and we're going to miss you. Uh, ben, uh, you've been involved with video for all six years here, uh, but have also been part of the crew over the last five, and have moved your way up to director, which is not given to just anybody. So. Uh, you've done a great job keeping the ship afloat, and if we have any technical issues, you can answer them all the time. Sometimes you can answer those tech questions better than even I can. So you're definitely going to, it's going to be tough to fill your shoes. Uh, appreciate all your help over the last uh, five or six years. Uh, I'm sure the rest of this crew is going to miss you as well, and everybody's benefited greatly from having you be the director of this new show. So well done. Thank you. Guys, good luck in the future. It's our last day for both seniors. Graham Russo, the teleprompter operator here behind the scenes since eighth grade, and Ben Astor, who moved his way up to director. Also, who's been here since eighth grade. So thanks to both of them, and if you see him in, in uh, school today, 
give them a little thank you. Well, that's all for the long announcements today. Thank you for bearing with us. On behalf of this beautiful morning crew, Anthony, myself, and no one else, have a great day.